Hey, welcome back guys to another video. This is part 16 of my God of War Platinum walkthrough. There's two main missions in this video because this current one's very, very short, literally like eight minutes long. And the next one's only about, about 20 minutes, so I'm just combining it all to one video. This one we're on is called Hunting for Solace, this current mission. And then the next mission, which is also in this video, is called The Summoning, where we're going to Muspelheim. We're mid guard at the moment. We've got a bit of story to begin with. And then we're gonna get back on our sleigh and ride down into the middle section around the Lake of Nine. You can't quite explore it all yet. There's one collectible which we're gonna get in Midgard a bit later on in this video. And that's the last collectible we need in Midgard for Platinum, other than the end game Berserker. But there's a Mystic Gateway beside him, so all we do, we just walk back in much later on, quickly fight him, and then move on to the next one. But yeah, you got a bit of a story to begin with, guys, like I say. And then we will be getting a collectible. It's actually gonna be a relic. It'll be the Mystical Heirloom. Five out of 14. One of the relics we need, we'll get that from here. We'll soon we get it, you have to use the spear to get to it, that's why I couldn't get it earlier. And then we'll be going into Muspelheim. So what I do guys, I'll just trim, I trim out my commentary, uh, later watch the gameplay, then once you get to that next collectible, I'll come back, just make you aware. And then pretty much we'll be going into the next mission after that. I'll come back just for the next mission, there's a few things to collect in the next one. We're gonna be getting the second half, the Muspelheim seed which will give us access to the crucible, ready for end game. We'll get another raven, another Norna chest, and a few bosses. So yeah, just get through the gameplay guys a bit more, and I'll see you in the Lake of Nine. There it is. Accuracy over speed. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm going to say to him. Of course. Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is my punishment. Feels like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. Spawner, it's Becky. Come. Here's Temple. That's where we're at. Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sindri did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, ah! if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. No. 
was stupid of me to help in the first place. I miss when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. Aye. They'll follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge, it's still work. We can get up to the temple that way. Yes. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. <laughs> There's no making this right. Is there? No. But I know I'll feel better. ...when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk... ...leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we get back... ...we're... ...we really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know it. We're actually making our way to that collect ball now, guys, because when you first come here, if you go right, it won't let you. There's like an invisible barrier. You have to carry on the story, uh, go to the top of Tyr's temple, Get through that little bit of the dialogue, the story, cutscenes, and they can come back down and they come to this part of the map. That's where I am, and this is where this item is. You have to use your spear here to um, explode the ice. And then just behind it on the floor is, like I say, guys, mystical healing, relic number 5 of 14. There it is, another collectible. This video, this mission is so, so short. It's going to be actually finished in a minute, this mission. Uh, so once you've got that, what you're going to do is carry on through the story a bit more. And we're going to get into Muspelheim, guys. Once you get into Muspelheim, the first enemy encounter, there's two very important collectibles just after that. So let's get to the first enemy encounter, guys, in Muspelheim. And I'll meet you there. I know we should go see Freya. But I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard for a little while. Aye. A few last adventures to take our minds off the state of, well, everything. Are we even sure Freya will still be at the house? Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tyr to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tyr's desire for peace. And mine. to move behind to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. You 
said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. Regarding negotiations with Rosfelder and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you need. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. This is it guys, mission the summoning. We, we've gone from freezing cold to scorching hot. Hope we don't get pneumonia. But this le legendary chest, this has actually got the other half to the Muspelheim seed. And just in that small alcove on the right is another raven guys. Raven number 29 of 48. Yeah, that's where we are on the map. So just make sure you get that raven and loot that chest. That chest, it doesn't seem to show you what you pick up from it. But yeah, it's the other half of that Muspelheim seed. And because we've got the other half much early in Svartalheim, that combines into a seed and now you can access a crucible in Muspelheim. We're in Muspelheim now, but it basically gives you access to the gateway there. And the crucible is where you have to do all the challenges. But that's actually the last thing we're going to do in the guide. The very, very last thing is going to be Muspelheim, followed by that final sort of Valkyrie boss. Similar to the Queen from the first game, this is slightly equivalent. Um, but you get through the story a bit more, guys, and there's going to be an Orna chest just down this ramp. Might be past this lava fall. You know this. A hunch. When I was here before, I got a pretty good feel for the layout. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready. Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now? You would try to force these primordial beings into submission. Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? Gotta be close. A little edit on this Norna chest because I did spend two minutes trying to do this. This one's very, very annoying. This will be Norna chest number 17 of 30. Should be an apple. What you have to do here, you see the lamps, you have to fire your sigil, your hex arrows, and um, use them as like a you have to explode one so it explodes the next one and then the one furthest so it it ignites all the lamps or the lanterns uh, but it's a little bit tricky to do because you can't you can't quite tell exactly what the angles are but if you see when you fire the hex arrow you can you can sometimes show if it's actually going to affect the lantern because the lantern will sort of illuminate blue like it did for me there it shows you that it's sort of in the radius of the hex arrow we can actually fire three hex arrows at one spot and it'll enlarge the radius of it, the sphere. You can actually do that three times. So you can fire three hex arrows in one spot, make a big sphere, move to another spot, fire three, like I'm doing now, 
and they move to another spot. But if you fire an arrow not into any of them spots, it can mess it all up. So you have to make sure when you fire nine arrows in the with you, the intention to do three massive spheres. So three, three, three. You have to make sure they all hit on target. Because if one of them misses, like I say, it's going to mess it all up. Because once you fire that tenth arrow, it sort of resets it. So you've got to be very careful. Make sure you fire three on target to make a massive sphere. Then move across to the next, fight a massive spear, and then do it that way. And you just got to try and line them all up. You know, it can't, like I say, it's difficult to tell because of the angle, and it's, you know, it, if it gave you photo, maybe if the game has photo modes, you could actually move over there, and you could probably tell better if they're lined up. We just have to try to do the best you can. You saw what I did. I tried to fire one into the middle of the rock. It, it takes a bit of trial and error, pretty much. You can just try and aim the way where I did and hopefully if you aim it where I did more or less that should get it. I spent a lot of time on it, I mean I've done it on this account, I've done it on another account as well and um, so I've, I have done that quite a few times uh, but I mean even now, even doing it this time it still took me a few minutes so yeah it, it might take you a minute or two to get it guys but it shouldn't be too bad but there is going to be quite a lot of them going forward so prepare for them Mentally prepare yourself for more normal chests like that, but that's probably one of the worst ones uh, But yeah, once you've got that you'll have this boss flame phantom This guy he'll drop a lot of materials, uh, but most importantly he'll drop a frozen flame so you can upgrade your axe later And there'll be another boss shortly called the soul eater. He'll drop a chaos flame amongst other materials uh, So you can upgrade your blades of chaos and then after that it's carrying a bit more guys a big cutscene and after that be another raven so let's carry on a bit, and like I say, after the next cutscene, I'll come back and show you where this raven is. Hello, soldier? Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't. We deal with these first. Oh, help us! Go. Another one. Focus. He is the guardian of this realm. It is his right to defend it. said we need him after that cutscene just turn around and look up on the wall you see a little illuminated alcove and just perch inside should be able to see that raven raver 13 or 48 that's the last main collectible on this mission guys you'll get another gale flame from another boss uh, so you can upgrade your spear uh, but that's a bit Probably about five minutes away. Uh, but just carry on a bit more. And I'll come back guys just on this next boss. Uh, Serger? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart. I'll get big, smash stuff. You'll like it. 
But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn, right? Yeah. And we're good. So, here it is. The spark of the world. This is... beautiful. I'll meet you, Cross. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gjallorhorn. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that, too. This is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes... ...loving someone is about... ...choosing... ...the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise... ...you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Sinmara's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the spark's fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. Yes, you got double Valkyries. These are not these are not difficult. They look a little bit daunting to begin with, but they're pretty simple. Now, I think these guys they actually increase. In, you have to deplete their health bar a few times. You see, they share a health bar. Wrist and mist. Uh, but each time you beat them, they come back a high level. You see the health bar change color. They seem to come back a high level. Uh, but there are actually some berserker fights where you have to fight more than one at a time. That's one fight. Yeah, you're gonna love this. We have fight three berserkers at a time, three bosses at once. Uh, but by by the time we get to that, we're quite high level, and the it's actually pretty simple. Uh, so yeah, don't worry too much. I'm not trying to scare you off. But yeah, enjoy this fight. Like I say, there's gonna be quite a few like this. But yeah, get through this, guys. They'll drop a gale flame, so make sure we pick it up. Uh, crack on the story a bit more, and I'll come back just near the end of the mission. Get away from here! 
Let's head back to Moose Blonde. We can take the Mystic Gateway back from there. It worked. I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win! Gro was right. Gro failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. <gasps> oh. Ragnarok's strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. Earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. More of Odin's forces. Try to finish the job and stop restarted. Behind you, incoming. <laughs> <laughs> fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. place is going to fall apart if those keep happening. Ah! 
aren't gonna stop attacking anytime soon. We need to get back. <laughs> you're quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped it. To never see my son go to war. Ragnarok is here. They know what that means for Asgard. <laughs> Through this crack in the rocks when you're ready. Father, I know we're doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It'll be worth it. Father, how did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanium Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, Father. Is there anything you want to finish up? Well, this is it then. Beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can. Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack. So there's time. <laughs> Brother, about the oracles of your land. Would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first. But in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Mm hmm. But enough. It is time. Okay. Ready when you are.
armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. I guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin will believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as Tyr. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most and that will be pretty much it guys for that mission. All we have left is the final, the final mission. Which we'll be doing in the next video. We're actually going to get a new armor set at the beginning of the next video. Which is going to be nice. Which we, I actually stick with it for the rest of the game. Well, I might change it yet. I've not decided. I mean, I've kind of planned everything out. But I'm undecided yet about if I'm going to change my armor or not. But when it comes to armor, by the way. We'll, there's some armor we're not going to be able to upgrade to max at all. Just because there's certain materials. If you've been following me, you're never going to get them. So when I upgrade armor at the end, because there's a trophy for max upgrading one set of armor, there's only specific sets which use specific materials that you're going to be able to max by doing only the minimum required for platinum. You can still max some, but it's only specific material, specific armor which needs specific materials. Uh, but yeah, guys, after that, once you get here, you're ready for the final battle. You got to go and get your head down in the tent. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.